Hi, I'm David Barton, and I'm on the Board of Regents at Ecclesia College. We Americans live in a blessed country. Our Constitution, our form of government, they produced what's perhaps the most exceptional nation in the world, but sadly, that won't continue for much longer. For statistics show that this current generation no longer knows or respects our Constitution and form of government. Today, tens of millions of people from across the world long to come to America, but to live here, there are certain minimal requirements they must meet. They must study our history and our government, and they have to pass a 100-question test to become an American. Currently, 92% of immigrants who take that test are able to pass it. But strikingly, only 33% of U.S. citizens can pass the same test. Imagine, those who've lived here their whole lives, those who spent 12 years in our schools formally learning about America, they know less about our history and government than the foreigners who study it for only a few weeks. 70% of Americans don't know that the Constitution is the supreme law of the land, and 62% can't even name the three branches of government. And by the way, 78% of our elected officials can't answer a dozen of the easiest questions from the immigration test, and 48% of them can't name the three branches of government. Now, I know hundreds and perhaps even thousands of elected officials, and if I were to ask them three of the most basic questions about the Constitution, the very document they all swore to uphold, I don't think one in a hundred of them could answer these three questions. First, how many articles are there in the Constitution? Second, how many amendments are there in the Bill of Rights? Third, name the five rights protected by the First Amendment. And by the way, only one in 1,000 Americans can answer this third question. The problem with this is that if we don't know what these basic rights are, then we can't and we won't know how to protect them. Founding Father Thomas Jefferson, the primary author of our National Birth Certificate, the Declaration of Independence, he once warned, quote, if a nation expects to be ignorant and free in a state of civilization, it expects what never was and never will be. So here we are. We can't be ignorant and remain free. The solution for our problem is quite simple, and it was given by Founding Father John Jay, one of the three individuals most responsible for the ratification of the U.S. Constitution. He was the original Chief Justice on the U.S. Supreme Court. John Jay explained, quote, every member of the state ought diligently to read and to study the Constitution of his country and to teach the rising generation to be free. By knowing their rights, they will sooner perceive when they're violated and be the better prepared to defend and assert them. Our schools no longer read and study the Constitution, and we certainly haven't taught the next generation to be free. That's why we now see our liberties and our government being frittered away. But at Ecclesia College, we know this can be turned around. That's why we started a new degree program, a Bachelor of Arts in Political Science. As part of this new degree, we will do exactly what John Jay said. Our students will read, study, teach, defend and assert the constitutions and the rights and the liberties that it protects. And having a degree that does this is no light thing, for as President Abraham Lincoln wisely observed, quote, the philosophy of the schoolroom in one generation will be the philosophy of government in the next. We will begin raising up a new generation of citizens to become the leaders who can help us restore the republic. Two centuries ago, when our founding fathers concluded their work on the Constitution, one of them, Benjamin Franklin, he walked outside and seated himself on a public bench. A woman approached him and inquired, Well, Dr. Franklin, what have you done for us? Franklin responded, My dear lady, we have given you a republic, if you can keep it. At Ecclesia College, we intend to keep it. And that's why we've added the new Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science. This program is offered on location here at our beautiful campus nestled in the Arkansas mountains, or can be earned online. For more information about Ecclesia College or this new degree program, go to www.ecollege.edu.